Hi there. If you want to know when the key, when a key is pressed or when a key is released, or if you want to know if a key is already pressed, you need to develop a system that allows you avoid the re-execution and to handle it better. So that is that we are going to do right now in this lesson. So we need to create a file named key listener .js with a class named key listener with an instance named key listener. So when we start that functionality, we need to add listener to the window, add event listener, and the event will be k down, and we are going to call this down, which is a method that we are going to write, receiving the event object, and we need to do the same with the key up. Calling the app functionality, the app method. So we need to do here app receiving the event object and the tier. But we need to do the same or something similar when we stop the functionality removing the event listener. And as we are going to use a, this a kind of database named keys which is an object, we need to set the context to those event handler binding this instance as a context. Here, here, and here. Now we can just check and set the information according to the key code key code is the name is the number key code is the number of that identify the key here we have to put through and here we have to put false now we can just ask is specific key code keep key code is already pressed so we need to return asking if that key exists we can return the value of the key otherwise false because we assume this key never was never was pressed here we are going to send the key code of the key that we want to test it out so in order to avoid the re-execution when we press the key we need to ask if this key is already pressed so if this key is already pressed we are going to re avoid that execution writing this and now if someone wants to know when the key is pressed we need to let him know so we are going to add a caster this caster that could be set it uh, in the constructor method or we can replace like a console log if there is no setting up in the constructor method and we can use it and we have to use it exactly when someone press the key or when someone release the key for so here as an array we are going to put the e dot key code we are going to put the value in this case is true and the rest of the keys uh, no there is keys and the rest of the keys um we have to do the same here when we release the keys we 
Here we have to put false. And that's all of the writing now. So in order to test this out, we need to go to the index and check it. Give it a try. So we are going to call incorporate uh, importing the key listener. We are going to start. We are going to use the key listener again in order to set the caster. Okay, set caster. Set. Oh, we don't have set caster. Let me check. Okay, we can do it in the um, constructor method or we can set the caster uh, after the instantiation caster for example ah anytime so just we need to call this set caster so here we can set the caster which is a constant that constain a function arrow arrow function that contain then even bus no so contain t even bus what happened with event bus now we are going to event bus the dispatch an event name e listener with the payload we are going to receive by parameter in the caster so in this way someone can have interest on listen and subscribing subscribing to this event and handling the payload for example showing it in the console but we can do something better for example checking if the second parameter is true we can say in the log in the console pressing the key with key code equal to this one uh, otherwise we can show sorry we can show releasing the key with the key code blah 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 so if everything is okay and we test it out let me see uh, now if i press enter pressing the key with code 13 if i release enter releasing the key with key code 13 if i press w pressing the key with code 85 releasing releasing the key with code 85 that's all by now see you there in the next lessons